Hey guys, got some breaking news for you. Cynthia Williams, the president of Wizards of the Coast, a division of Hasbro, is out. That's right, effective April 26th, she will no longer be president of Wizards of the Coast. And we're going to take a look at a couple of articles real quick that have got some scant details about this. This is brand new breaking news. But before we jump into that, of course, if you would, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications if you want updates on all the tabletop RPG news that we can bring you. Let's go ahead and dive into this we've got a couple of pieces to look at right here uh so this is from market watch uh just a brief from uh market watch hasbro wizards of the coast president cynthia williams resigns by uh colin kelleher hasbro on wednesday said cynthia williams president of its wizards of the coast and hasbro gaming units resigned effectively april 26 or will resign i guess i should say um, the Pawtucket, Rhode Island toy and game maker disclosed the resignation in filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, but didn't specify a reason for Williams' departure. Let's head over to Dicebreaker, and of course, I will link to the Dicebreaker article below that goes into some more detail here. Um, so this is Wizards of the Coast President Cynthia Williams departs D&D and Magic the Gathering's maker. An SEC filing confirms that Hasbro is searching both internal and external for her replacement. And this is from Chase Carter. Thank you very much, Chase. Uh, again, over at Dicebreaker, Cynthia Williams will be stepping down as Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro Gaming's president and CEO on April 26, according to an SEC filing from the company's owner, Hasbro. No replacement has been named at this time, but the toy company rep responsible for Peppa Pig, Transformers, and more germane to tabletop Dungeons and & Dragons and Magic the Gathering is, quote, conducted a process to identify her successor, looking at both internal and external candidates. Williams joined Wizards of the Coast in 2022, replacing Chris Cox as president when he took Hasbro's reins as CEO. Her role consisted of managing two of the biggest names in the tabletop industry, along with Hasbro's suite of other analog games, Scrabble, Monopoly, and Cluedo, to name a few. She helped implement Cox Blueprint 2.0 O strategy, which narrowed Hasbro's focus on licensing the company's most profitable brands and emphasizing digital products as much as possible. When reached for comment, a Hasbro representative said this, We're excited for Cynthia to take the next step in her career and grateful for the contribution she has made in her more than two years at Wizards and Hasbro. We wish her the absolute best in her next endeavor. We have started the search for our next president of Wizards of the Coast and hope to have a successor in place soon. Williams previously worked as Microsoft's general manager and vice president of the gaming ecosystem commercial team, and before that clocked 10 plus years at Amazon, where, according to Business Wire, she, quote, led global growth of their e commerce direct to consumer business fulfillment by Amazon. Amongst all the corporate title, bloat is a clear skill set that Hasbro wanted inside their machine. The experience in digital gaming, direct to consumer sales, and the commercial positioning of products ostensibly fit Hasbro's ambitious plans for Wizards of the Coast and its flagship games. That blueprint has not materialized in the way Cox wanted. The company faces an extremely tough 2023 and laid off 1,100 workers in order to salvage a bump in stock prices at the end of a tumultuous year that saw both the OGL fiasco and the miraculous success of Baldur's Gate 3. We can't say for sure that William departure signals yet another new phase within the flagging toy giant or if the wizard's president found an opportunity to deploy her golden parachute before things got worse an interim president will likely be announced prior to williams final day on april 26 so keep checking dicebreaker for more information as it becomes available and wow Wow, that is some pretty big news, and I can't help but wonder if with the layoffs, the cutbacks, the 
cut down profit expectations, the departure with Larian Studios, the failure of the Dungeons and Dragons movie, the OGL debacle, and of course, we can't forget many stock bumps, and they sent the Pinkertons after a small YouTuber, guys. If all of that didn't pile up to Cynthia Williams taking a long, hard look at where Wizards of the Coast was going and saying, no way, and pulling the eject handle and getting the heck out of there. But of course, I want to know what you guys have to say about it. What do you think about this? My own personal opinion, again, this is, this is just how I feel. I think she looked at this thing and she realized <clears throat> that there and there is no magic money button, if you'll pardon the double entendre, um, that is going to start producing cash immediately out of Dungeons & Dragons. D&D is primarily and has always been a tabletop project. Williams' attempt to, to drag it in a digital direction where gamers don't really feel like they want it was, in my opinion, a mistake despite the pressure from Cox to make it one. And when 2023, it seems like everything went south in 2023, what we were left with was someone who took a look at the whole picture and said, this isn't going to work. This is going to continue to not work. And I don't want to be part of that. I find it interesting that it was only a two-year uh, tenure and that right after this tumultuous time, she got out of the C-suite up there in Washington State. But of course, as always, I want to know what you guys think this is important news and yes if you'll pardon me i will say that it does have an impact on the old school the next person who comes in after cynthia williams could take a look at the print on demand that goes on through drive through rpg and indeed their own mirrored services through um the the uh the wizards of the coast website and say why are we supporting editions that are undermining our new editions take them all away i mean that is that is a very real danger a real threat that could loom on the horizon when we say hey go out there and get the ad and d books the od and d books the two e books and yes even the three e and four e books done print on demand is the next person in going to have that same that same uh, affection for old school product lines? Are they going to tighten the reins even more on the OGL? Or will they get an actual gamer in? There's a question for you guys. Who do you think should be the next president of Wizards of the Coast? I hope it's someone not from a software company. I hope it's someone who loves tabletop gaming as much as we all love tabletop gaming. But I'm going to let you guys discuss that down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if I get any more breaking news on this, I'll bring it to you guys first. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And leave a comment down below and tell me what you liked about it. Till next time, guys. Uh, Spruce up your resume scrolls of job acquisition. Peace.